Hi you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those of you that are new around here, it's been a while since I've posted a video, but there's no time like quarantine to get back into something, right? Anyway, I have a lot of time on my hands these days, so I thought I would do a video for you guys taking you through my entire wool hat collection from the brand Lack of Color. I am obsessed with this brand. I wear it frequently on my Instagram. Not lately because, you know, there's nowhere to go. So I wanted to take them off the wall and walk you through every style, how they fit, and just show you my hat collection. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to start with my traditional fedora style. Um, I have four different versions of the fedora, and my absolute most favorite, probably my most worn, is the Teak Rancher. So I like them to fit so that it is halfway down my forehead. As you can see, the brim is very, very large and in charge. It's so cute in photos, honestly, like whenever I don't know what to do with my face, I just look down and it's perfect. So this is my favorite. It's a really good warm brown color. I just feel like when I didn't know how to complete an outfit, I'd throw a hat on and I was good to go. Also, I want to start off by saying I have a big head. I don't know if it's my hair, I don't know if it's my head. But I wear a size large in most lack of color hats. They have the centimeters on the website, so just measure your head depending on where you want it to fit. I know some people like to wear them on the back of their head, in which case I would need a medium because this is too loose for that. But I like to wear mine like this, so I need a large. This Teak Rancher retails for $129, and honestly, it's taken me a long time to get my collection to what it is now, but I would say it's totally worth it. Next we have the Zulu Rancher, exact same style, just different color. This one I would say is my second most worn. It is just a really pretty light color, goes with a lot of things. Again, fits the exact same, I wear a size large, and it also retails for $129. Next Rancher is the Noir Rancher. This one, I will admit, was totally a lucky find. I was in Arizona with my husband, we went to the Last Chance store, which is where all things in Nordstrom go and they get marked down to like crazy cheap prices. We found this hat, well I think he truthfully found the hat in a pile of hats, it was mangled, and we were just like, we have to get it. It's a size large, if it's both of our heads, we're getting it. We go to the checkout stand, he rings it up for one penny, you guys, one penny. And he gave it to us for a penny. So typically this retails for $129 on the Lack of Color website. By the grace of God, we found it for a penny at last chance. But I will say it's like kind of floppy, so you know, you get your money's worth. But it's a really good basic. I would say that Brennan wears this more than I do because it is a little intense having like, the black situation, but I still love it. Okay, last but not least for the fedoras is the Beverly. She is very pretty. Actually, one of my bridesmaids got it for me as a bridal shower gift, and that was near tears. She knows me. But Again, size large. This is a smaller brim. This is probably a good starter hat if you are new to the fedora life and the wide brim is a little too intense for you. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. This ribbon detail is so pretty for just adding like a dash of style to an outfit. So highly recommend. This retails for $149, a little pricier, but it is a little bit more special than the generic ribbon. So. All right, next up I want to jump into the boater style. This one is circular on the top, whereas the fedora has this pinch. So similar in style, but a little bit more of a classic. So this is the Juno boater. Admittedly, this is my husband's. He got it from our friends as a wedding gift because he always steals my hats. So it's great because we have the same size heads. So our collection is just growing as we can share. This one's cool, it has a velvet ribbon, which is this one retails for $159. It is also available in green, so good option to switch up. Next on our list is the Celestial 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 Boater. Celestial Boater. But it's really cool. It has really pretty gold details on it, and it's just a really special hat. This is not one of my most worn, but I'm really proud of this one in the collection. So that's that. This one retails for $199. I definitely got this one on sale. Lack of Color does a lot of promotions often, so just sign up for their newsletter. They do 20% off and like free shipping and all that stuff often. So I really feel like you can find most of your hats on sale if you're patient. All right, next up is the newest edition in the collection. And I think that this is Brendan's favorite. Every time he goes to grab a hat, he grabs this one, but 
It's my hat. It's super unique. It's super high in the front. It's very, very chic. I was really excited to be a chic cowgirl at, at Stagecoach this year, but you know, quarantine. But anyway, it's a very specific style. I would not say to start out with this one. It's something that you have to be obsessed with hats to even appreciate, I would say, because it's definitely one of those things that you see and you go, whoa. Um, but it's really cool. This one retails for $149. It's called the Goldfinger in ivory. They do make it in a brown and it is just stunning. A note on the size though, this is a large and it's probably the first one I've ever bought that I would say is too big. Like I can put my finger in it. So I would have got a medium even though the sizing says it's the same. Not really sure why it's a little bit bigger. So it's just a note. Last but not least, we are going to jump into what I like to call the vacation series because all of these hats have traveled all over with me, mostly for vacation. I want to start with the Western Wide Palma. This is probably one of my most frequently asked about when I wear it on Instagram. It's just so unique. The brim is so stunning. It's massive and it's really structured so it holds its shape and it's just a really cool hat. This is the size large extra large and since th this is not very deep, it does have that sensation that like it doesn't fit if I'm being honest. It does fit. It just doesn't feel super secure because this is not super deep. So I would say you might have to try both sizes because it's a small medium large extra large sizing. It's not individual sizes so I started with the small medium just to try it out didn't fit obviously got the large extra large and it's perfect they also make this in a fedora style which I highly recommend I think that one is really really cute and I feel like I would wear that style more than I wear the Western style just because it is a little different so I don't find myself reaching for it unless I'm going on vacation. Next up, we have the Sunny Dip Fray Boater. This one retails for $89. It's a really cute little thin vacation hat. It's perfect for the beach, the ocean, the pool, walking around the farmer's market. It's just like such a cute little hat. And it's super, super lightweight, which is nice. You can wear it all day and not feel uncomfortable. And this one does come in small, medium, large, extra large. And this is a large, of course. Last but not least is the Sunny Dip. This one I had to track down. I could not find it in black anywhere. I finally found it on Amazon and was super happy about it. I know a lot of small boutiques carry this one as well, so if it's not on the website, just look around Google. They currently have it in like a beige color, which is also really pretty. This one is $89, but it is another boater style and it's so cute on. This is like a black hat that I can get behind wearing during the day versus the Noir Rancher or the Celestial Boater. This one just feels like a little bit lighter because of the fabric. So I highly recommend, this is actually a size medium. This is like a stretchy fabric, I guess I would say. Like, I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm medium in it, <laughs> but super cute. All right, you guys, that is it for my hat collection. I hope you love it as much as I do. These hats are honestly like things I'm gonna have forever. I just think they're so special. They make the outfit. They're just such a great brand. Like it fits amazing. The quality is incredible. The price isn't terrible for how good the quality is. They ship fast. They're Australian. I'm obsessed with Australia. So. 10 out of 10 recommend. If you have any questions on the styles you saw today, just comment below.